Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Huang, and I'm a dermatologist and dermatologic surgeon at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Thank you for choosing to have your surgery here at the BIDMC Dermatologic Surgery Unit. Today, we will go over how to take care of your skin excision or Mohs surgery site. Keep the area covered for 24 to 48 hours as instructed by your surgeon with the bandage that was applied at your surgeon's office. You will need Q-tips, petroleum jelly, bandage. Remove the bandage. Wash the site with soap and water to gently remove any crusts or scabs. For most people, this is easiest to do in the shower. Pat the area dry. With a clean Q-tip, apply a layer of petroleum jelly over the surgical site. There is no need to use a special antibiotic ointment. In fact, antibiotic ointments often cause an allergic reaction. Cover with a nonstick bandage, such as Telfa, secured with paper tape if you are allergic. If the area is small, you may use a Band-Aid as long as the white part is large enough to cover the entire wound. Repeat these steps each day until your excision site is healed or until you have your stitches removed, if you need to have stitches removed. If the bandage becomes wet at any time, it should be changed to a dry bandage. Complications are not common. However, if you experience excessive bleeding that doesn't stop with firm pressure for 20 minutes, repeat pressure for another 20 minutes and then call if the bleeding does not stop. Also, if you develop fever, extreme pain, spreading redness and firmness, or pus, call us immediately so that we can evaluate your excision site. Please avoid all strenuous activity and exercise for the first 48 hours. After that, your activity level depends on your discussion with your surgeon.